top three reasons you need to sell your home in 2023. If you're a homeowner, even more so if you're an investor, you need to pay close attention to this video. In this video, we're gonna go over the top three reasons you need to sell in 2023, and you're not going to believe reason number one. So before we freak you out too much, hit the subscribe button, give us a like, and tell us why we're wrong in the comments below. So let's jump right in because I'm not gonna waste a minute of time introducing myself. Check me out on my social media. Reason number three, because buying in a falling market makes massive financial sense. Forgive me as I'm about to get technical and walk you through a simple math problem where you make $60,000 just by buying in a down market. Let me explain. So the average homeowner buys their next home and spends 1.5% more, meaning if they sell a million dollar home, their next purchased home is gonna cost them $1.5 million. So let's just stick with that example and let's say the market values I provided were peak values. So from peak value to bottom value in a falling market just like we saw in the early 80s was minus 40 percent and both of their homes would be affected by this minus 40 percent making their current home worth six hundred thousand dollars and their next purchase home worth nine hundred thousand dollars so let's then project a modest recovery of about 20 percent and again this could take a few years and calculate the values of their new home as it rebounds to $1,080,000, while their old home only rebounds to $720,000. Now this means they achieved a $60,000 net gain versus staying in their old home. Pretty simple, isn't it? Reason number two, if you're thinking of getting out of the market and cashing in your equity, then I can confidently say that your home is worth more today than it will be worth throughout the entire year of 2023 and most of 2024. We have not seen the bottom yet. In 2023, we will see more foreclosures than we've ever seen in recorded history of MLS data that goes back to before the 60s. We're gonna see the most amount of foreclosures we've ever seen in history. And you see, it's gonna take quite a few months after a mortgage renewal comes up before missed payments trigger foreclosures and we'll see foreclosures in 2023 and 2024. Reason number one. Investors and landlords pay close attention as I'm talking about multiple homeowners or investors who want to see appreciation in their real estate assets in the next three to five years. Take a look at the flat line after every market correction in history. Tell me how many years does that go on the graph? Now, I'm not saying real estate is a bad investment. I'm just saying if you're sick of your tenants or you anticipate a tenant turnover, know this, market rents are coming down right now your interest is going up. And so likely your new mortgage that you're gonna to have to renew at some point is gonna cost you more, all while your capital appreciation is going down. So if you don't wanna be a landlord for the next 10 or more years, you need to sell in 2023. There you go. As a multiple homeowner right now, I'm faced with the exact same puzzle and I'm asking myself, do I wanna be a landlord for the next 10 years? Remember to like, comment, and subscribe below.